Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmoy Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we shall discuss a multiple choice question about reaction of this alkene with NBS and triethylamine HF adapt in presence of DCM as a solvent or dichloromethane and a 0 degree to room temperature condition. So in this reaction one major product is produced and question what is the major product so in order to find out the answer four options are provided in front of you so you have to find out what is the right answer as usual i first request you people please pause the video and try by yourself and write your answer in the comment box such that it will help me to understand what's your the what is your level of knowledge at this situation and i believe self evaluation is most important for further improvement of any person Okay, so please do this self evaluation. I believe you have paused the video and tried by yourself. So let me explain the answer. As usual, I first explain about the nature of that reagent because it is essential. If you understand the nature of reagent, any type of reaction, you can predict what will be the expected product. Means your prediction will be more logical. Okay, so first of all, this is an alkene. So in this case, alkene have a CC bond so these pi bonds are electron rich so they are actually nucleophilic no not nucleophilic they are nucleophilic in nature electrophilic electron rich species okay so they loves the electron deficient species they are electron deficient species lover so what happens in this case you can look at clearly that if you if you take this it's electron rich species it's a nucleophile and if you look at this molecule nbs this is n bromo succinimide Okay, so what happens this if you look at the electronegativity value of nitrogen and bromine nitrogen is more electronegative. So what is expected nitrogen will be delta minus and bromine is expected to be delta plus I know you may think sir bromine is electronegative atom. Why will it be delta plus it is expected to be delta minus no that depends on the bond and the electronegativity of the involved atom forming the bond. Okay, so for your better understanding, this is completely my personal opinion. You may consider this NBS as this this NBS as this N minus species plus Br plus species. Actually, it is not ionic, but for your better understanding, I am saying. So when you say this Br plus, a simple word came in our mind that this is electrophilic. So see, previously you got one nucleophile. And now you got one electrophile, so they'll react definitely. So actually, this is a source of bromine. Okay, so and actually, NBS is a source of bromination reagent in two ways. One is bromine plus brom cationic bromine, or another is radical bromine. So that radical species generates under very drastic condition. Means heat. You may consider that heat or or H new. But see, just try to remember what was the reaction condition here see 0 degree centigrade and room temperature so radical generation is not likely here okay so this is now the third reagent provided in front of us is this triethyl amine and hf so if you look at the amine little detail I mean little carefully this is the nitrogen this is the r r r and this nitrogen has a lone pair and actually it can consume one proton so just look at the ratio NH3 versus HF 1 is to 3. So after abstracting this proton, what is left? One fluoride left and along with that 2 HF left. So in the reaction medium, fluoride anion is excess. You may consider that sir, this amine is nucleophilic, I agree, but the lone pair of amine is consumed by the proton because acid base reactions are the fastest compared to the nucleophilic addition reaction okay and second thing nucleophilic addition is soft soft interaction soft soft phenomena whereas nitrogen is a hard center more basic and proton is there so they will prefer to react further as the acid base reaction is the fastest reaction fine okay so this acid base add this acid base adduct is resulted in a source of nucleophile that is fluoride and it is here in excess so after bond formation nit and nitrogen will be at the positive charge because after bond formation with proton the formal positive charge will come on the nitrogen it became a quaternary type species okay so we have understood the nature of the reagent now let's discuss how they react 
okay so as i told that this double bond can act as a nucleophile so it will attack this electrophilic bromine center consequently this bond will come here so it will result first of all in it will initially result this cation and this bromine second this bromine has lone pair of electrons three lone pair so this three lone pair of one of them will attack this this so one of them will attack this carbon center form a three member ring okay so okay i'll come about this now question is this stable obviously stable how because of resonance see this lone pair could be delocalized here so one canonical form is this one okay there could be another canonical form possible means this lone pair will come here this will come here it will open up so actually actually this negative charge is doubly stabilized or well delocalized means when there is a delocalization of negative charge is stabilization so this anion nitrogen minus anion is stable and by the way this is actually a nucleophilic nitrogen i have already discussed such kind of lectures previously means that is a gabriel thalamide synthesis please visit if you want to learn more about this now question bridge bromonia ion so this look at this this is actually a three member ring so when we say three member ring the simplest thing came in our mind cyclopropane and we say that this cyclopropane is actually a strained molecule okay ring strain there but and it is not good to have ring strain question why this three member ring forms because see if you look at this molecule here you are considering this is a carbon but in this case there is a bromine and larger size of so larger size of bromine reduces strain okay reduce strain that's why this three member bridge bromonium ion is formed okay so why bridge because this bromine is attached to this two carbon as a bridge fine this now a simple question that this bromine carrying the formal positive charge actually it was expected that this carbon atom should carry a positive charge means it's an electron deficient so if this is a completely positive charge then the fluoride fluoride can attack from both side either top and bottom but since this bridge bromonium ion forms actually bridge halonium ion we should consider because for chlorine for iodine similar thing happens but such kind of property is more dominant for bromine that's why we discuss about bromine so so if since it is a ring compound and we know ring are cis okay same side so consequently fluorine will attack from the back side and it will open so ultimate product will be in anti direction i know you may consider that sir why anti let me explain little details ring means cis majority of small small rings are always cis there are some exception for large ring we are not going so always remember that ring rings are cis means same side if you look at uh, if you look at this example see same side means if we consider cyclohexane cyclohexane is this say so this is the axial and these are the equatorial see these two sides are below the plane so they are down and these two are above so they are up so same side means same so this should be this okay but you may consider sir this is also same no why because we know flipping of cyclohexane possible means if you flip the structure what you can expect this and what will be the orientation this this two equatorial will go to the axial means one is here another is here and you may consider that this is bromine in this way no not possible actually see they are not in cis they are far trans so that don't be confused that this is actually cis no this is not cis this is a trans how to understand please draw the flipped conformation you can understand okay so cis means same same side similarly these two side are also cis in nature okay so this is the thing now in this way question another thing why anti because see if you look at a ring means this is a bromine plus now there are four substitution 
now question nucleophile will attack two chance one from opposite side and one from same side see if you think same side nucleophilic attack there is expected a huge repulsion between the nucleophile and the bromine atom and bromine atom is larger in size so it will not be favored this path instead of this nucleophile will attack from the back side and it will open up and back side open up means anti addition okay so this thing i have discussed in epoxide opening thing you may visit that lecture for your better understanding fine so what is the answer of this question answer is this one question what is the interesting part of this question first of all the interesting part is the equivalence of triethylamine and hf please read question carefully second interesting point that zero degree to rt i'll explain after some time third point is actually main question is these two option among them since bridge bromonium ion forms so seen not possible so anti is the product and let's come to the condition means that this zero degree so allylic halogenation not possible okay so ultimately product is an i haven't mentioned i didn't want to complicate your situation that's why i did not mention so this is the overall discussion for this problem so what you have learned today we have learned that nbs act as a electrophilic bromination reagent and here bromine is somewhat electron deficient due to higher electronegative nitrogen atom fine double bonds like alkene can undergo bromination through bridge bromonium ion as an intermediate by the way i have discussed halogen addition to double bond you may visit that lecture for your better understanding and actually this happens through a three member charge ring system fine and bridge bromonium ion gets somewhat stabilized due to the larger size of bromine atom okay and finally bromonium ion opens up in anti orientation by the nucleophilic attack that's why we get the trans product okay so this is the overall discussion today i think you may like the you may enjoy the video so if you enjoyed the video please like press the like button and please write your opinion in the comment box and most importantly please share this video if you think this video have good content and if you consider that my i am providing good con quality of study material then please subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload and most importantly thank you all for watching this video with patience so before leaving stay happy stay blessed